Mary, you did great. But there's something we need to discuss. Wow. Mary, wow. You cannot be serious! We all fought side by side. Why are they getting rewarded and I'm not? It's not a reward. It's more like a curse. And in any case, you're just not ready. You're too much like him. He needs hosts who can balance out his less humane impulses. I'm not humane! I didn't mean that. But the fact is, you are attracted to power. And you're not careful about where that power comes from, or whom it hurts when you take it or use it. I did what needed to be done, and all without saying, you know what, the cost was worth the result. That's how he thinks, Mary. He doesn't need another him. The world doesn't need another him. Of whom do you speak? Of what? Maybe now's not the time. No, go ahead. Tell him. See what he thinks. Indeed, sorceress. Speak. The... <sighs> okay, fine. I propose that Nabu alternate host bodies between my father, Khalid, Tracy, and myself. Each wears the helmet for a week before handing it off to the next in line, keeping Fate's host fresh and healthy at all times. And with the added benefit that three weeks out of four, the host gets a life. Not this one. She is powerful. No, perhaps if, if, if I work with her more... Wait, you're agreeing to this? The notion has logic and potential. And we have learned to trust your mentor's judgment. Mary, please try to understand. Send me home! Fawcett City! Now! So, it's all settled then? Nabu has agreed. But one other must yet be convinced. No, absolutely not. I put on the helmet to save you from this curse. Do you honestly believe I'd let you take it on now? Absurd! You put on the helmet to save 14-year-old me. But I'm 24 now, Dad. And you are missing my entire life. Not to mention your own. You've sacrificed enough. I can take this on one week in four. Please. <sighs> I never could say no to my girl. Excuse us a minute. <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't even have a chance to ask if you... I think you know I'm on board. My Uncle Kent was always my hero. I feel like my whole life has been building to this moment. It would be an honor to don the Helmet of Fate. But I have real questions. You let Mary do what she did only to penalize her for it after? And Tracy? As I understand it, when you put on the helmet, you effectively become its prisoner. Surrendering your body, your agency, your life to Nabu. For you and me, this sacrifice is necessary in the name of family. But will Tracy's sacrifice balance against her altruistic desire to help? I need to know, was this your plan all along? Did you take on protégés with the express purpose of using us to liberate your father? I want to be clear. You do not have to do this. But you're 18. You can make your own decisions. I'm in. Good. Thank you. So... Father and daughter deserve time together. And you and your father should at least discuss this. So I will go first. Bismillah. And thus, balance is restored. Why do you tell us what we already know? I tell you what you need to know. Save your musings. We have no intention of thanking Vandal Savage for cleaning up his own mess. Admittedly, this chaos did begin with one mortal, but not with Savage. The inciting incident was no act of chaos or even of order. Come on now, don't let a little constructive criticism get you down. You're all doing great, in fact. In fact, it was the mere contemplation the best students. of an act of love. 
I made my father disappear ten years ago. My greatest act of precipitation was bringing him back. <laughs>